So as a network marketer, um, you may have been told by your upline or your company that you must just fix and focus on MLM. MLM good, everything else bad. And um, that's not the way it really works in the real world, especially if you're trying to make as much money as possible and you need it sooner rather than later. Like when I came into the industry, I had 50 grand worth of debt. Understanding that network marketing is a residual model, as in the main benefit is the leverage residual income, it takes time to build a team to get any decent level of money coming in. So what do we do in the meantime? How can we actually bolster those numbers? How can we get more high quality people coming in quicker and at the same time actually make some more money up front so we can stay in the game? A great solution for that, something I'd highly advise you to have as part of your income streams is coaching. So you have your network marketing business and you also have some coaching as well. Let me walk into how you can transition into including this, why it's complementary to your network marketing business and more importantly, how it's really going to benefit you financially and how you can be a good coach that actually gets results and referrals. So the first thing to notice is, like I just said, MLM is what we call back end. Okay. Most people, when they sign up someone in the network marketing business, they're getting between 20 and say $50, okay? 20 or $50. Even if they get higher than that, they're having to sell, let's say, a $1,500 product to maybe make a $100 commission. So the margins are very small at the front end because they need to leave space in the compensation plan for you to get paid on multiple levels, right? The power is if you have a team of 1,000 people, and you're not having to do anything else with those people, they're growing and sponsoring, you're gonna make a, an increased amount of monthly income for the work that you already did, right? So that's where the power is. The back end of MLM is where the leverage is and why it's so appealing. You saw the triangles on the board, the numbers on the board was like, okay, I don't have to work anymore and the money will still come in. But that takes time to reach. How much money do you really wanna make per month to be safe and secure in your finances? couple of grand extra at least a month how many people in your team are you going to need to make that happen 50 100 200 500 a thousand right so in order for you to make that amount of money it takes time to get there and if you're somebody that is super ambitious like I want to make more money now or you're like I was you're like I need to make money now then we need to have a way that we can bridge that gap from the team building kicking in for you to be able to have money right now so the way we do that is we can become a coach. Now, often when I suggest this, people are like, oh, no, 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 you've got to have qualifications. You got I get that. It depends on the area that you're coaching in. You obviously couldn't claim to be, let's say, a, a dietitian. You couldn't claim to be a counsellor and deal with people's mental health. All you've got to be mindful of is when you decide to become a coach is, looking at the transformation that you're helping people with. See, what is a coach or a consultant? Someone is here, they want to be here, but, so they're down at the bottom, they want to get across to a higher position, but they lack a journey, a route, a path to get there. Maybe they've tried many times to get from A to B, it hasn't worked for them. Maybe they don't see a way they can get there. So you as a coach or a consultant can build a bridge from A to B, so they can now clearly see how they can transform that and that's you becoming a consultant or a coach. So long as there's no official title you're giving yourself, such as I'm a dietitian, well, you can't mess with people's nutrition if, you're, if you don't know about that. You can't mess with people's mental health. You have to get qualifications for that type of thing. But if you're saying you want to help somebody with their Facebook ads, if you're saying you want to help somebody get a better mindset, with more positivity. If you're saying you want to give someone some advice on a whole different bunch of areas of their life which don't cause any kind of safety jeopardy on, and they're not regulated, then there's many, many areas that you can become a coach in. If we understand we're just taking someone from A to B, okay? A to B. So when we understand that, we can now see how we could add that to our network marketing setup. Let me, let me run through the way in which I did this. It might make it clearer. So when I started in network marketing, I got 328 no's in a row, okay? Failing big time. I then made some changes to my tactic and within, it was about four or five months, I went full time. So I replaced my job income 
with my network marketing income, at that point in time, I was the fifth best recruiter in the company. I leapfrogged a whole bunch of more experienced people and went to fifth. And then six months after that, I became the third best recruiter. A little while after that, I was the number one international income earner with the fourth fastest growing team. So what do you think happened at each of these stages after I've been failing for so long? Richard, what the heck are you doing? I know you've, you've been failing in this thing for a while at different companies. All these presentations, no, 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 no. Never seen you sign anybody up. Now you're the fifth best recruiter in a huge company. You're on the leaderboard. They're taking you over on cruises and all that kind of stuff. How did you do that? Teach me. Now, if I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, if I'm to be a network marketing coach, I need an official title for that. I need to worry about that. No, it's an unregulated industry. There is nothing wrong with saying you're a network marketing coach. There's no official qualification required. So and I'm not dealing with somebody. I'm not trying to uh, promise them anything other than the result that I've already got. I'm not even promising them that. I'm just promising that I will show them what I did. And if they want to follow it, they can follow it too, which is what a coach does, right? So I was able to say, you know what? I have made some changes. I am I'm, I'm doing some things differently. Would you like me to show you? Yes, people would pay me to do that because they want the knowledge and information that I've got. Obviously, they've got to pay me for my time. I'm trying, still trying to build my own business here. So if they want me to take time away from my family and my business, they have to pay me for that. That's the privilege of taking somebody's time, right? It's an exchange. So where could you do that in your network marketing business? It doesn't specifically have to be about network marketing. Maybe you can teach people how to learn the guitar. Maybe you can teach people great smoothie recipes that are interesting if they're on a weight loss program. Maybe you can teach people like five different pillars of becoming more stronger minded, of having a more positive mindset. Maybe you could teach people um, anything what your passion is, something that you have a passion in, know more about than the general public and can take them from a beginner or lower level to a slightly higher level. You're thinking, see, you need to be an MLM coach, you've got to be better than me at it. You don't. To be a to be a to teach them to play guitar, you've got to be better than everybody else at it. You don't. All you have to be is plus one level ahead when you're starting out. Okay, obviously you want to grow your skill set, just be plus one level. If I am on a diet and I'm sick of the three smoothies that I'm making, and you can show me five more recipes. Sure, I can go and search around on websites and stuff, but if you're giving me a reasonable offer and you're actually willing to, to, I don't know, via Zoom, go through some other benefits with me and bonuses with me, I'd be happy to pay you that so I don't have to drink the same boring smoothie. I'd, be, I'd pay you for that. And you say, I wouldn't. Yeah, but other people would, right? Will people, I, why would somebody pay someone to post on their social media for them? Well, because they may have more money than time. Stop thinking that everybody's in your exact situation. Like when I first started, I'll tell you when I first became a, a coach um, was when I was a, a, actually in health and fitness. Now this you did have to have a qualification for because you were dealing with people's health. You could injure them, right? So I became a qualified personal, in train, personal trainer. I was a fitness instructor at the same time. So I'm working in a gym and I'm making minimum wage, okay? And something happened, I've told this story before, where I had a little bit of money in one hand from my job, my fitness instructor job. I went to my wife's at the time, she was a waitress at the time, we've been together since we were young. Her boss, the owner of the restaurant that she worked at, wanted to, a personal trainer. Rec knew me, so I was in good shape, recommended, it was a long time ago, recommended me. So I, I was almost apologetic. I'm like, so you know, if you want the top package, it's like uh, 400 pounds for 18 sessions. Now at the time when I was 20 years old, we're talking what? I'm 38, so 18 years ago, that's probably like about seven, eight hundred pounds now. So maybe six, seven hundred pounds. It's like nearly a thousand dollars. I was making 150 pounds, 125 pounds a week. So I'm looking at nearly ten. T no, excuse me. It was four times my wage. I'm looking at a month's wages for 18 hours of work. I'm working 35 to 40 hours a week at that time. So 4, 8, 12, 160 hours, same amount of money in 18 hours. I honestly didn't think it was possible. And I'm like sliding, oh, the, 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 like, the little thing I printed out with the money on. I'm like, oh, is this much? And he went, okay. He took out his, in his pocket, he took out 400 pounds. He went, 
No, did he count it out or did he write the check? I think he wrote a check. I think he took a check out, wrote the check and went, there you go, I'll see you on Monday. I'm going to get back to work. That was it. it he, just, he didn't even flinch. Now, for me, I never had £400 spare at that time. I barely had, we had £20 a week spare at the end of the week after we'd done everything and if we were lucky. So £400 would take me, what, 20 weeks to save up. And here's a guy who just pulled out his pocket and went, yeah, sure. So stop presuming that the people you're going to help are in the same situation as you in every area of your life. Many of them may be better off than you financially. They have other skill sets, they're better than you are, but in the one area where you excel, that may be their weakness and their Achilles heel that they really want to solve. Do you see that? So all you need to be able to do is move them another rung up the ladder in the right direction and they're happy to pay you for that. The reason why this works really well in network marketing is it gives you upfront money. I went to the guy, let's, let's, say, let's say it wasn't personal training, I'm trying to give you something unregulated. Let's use my network marketing example. And let's say I was teaching them something really simple such as how they could use their social media to gain more leads. Even if you don't have massive results, you may be able to get more engagement on your Facebook posts. So loads of people would love to have more engagement on their Facebook posts. They're embarrassed that there isn't any on there right now. They know it's a way to get eyes on their information. So could you not go to people if that was your skill set and say, hey, you know what? If you look at my social media posts, you see I get around about 100 likes every time and 20 or 30 comments. I can teach you what I do to do that so you can get more eyes on your message. People would pay you for that. They'd, yeah, I want to know that. They pay you, you go, you get money straight away to teach them that. Now, while you're teaching them that, how on earth does that make sense for a network marketing business, Richard? Well, number one, it keeps you in the game financially. Number two, you're doing something that you love. Number three, it complements it. Because as you become a coach and as you start to become more of an authority, and as you gain more income, a better lifestyle, as you're working with clients, you become a better network marketer and a whole bunch of them clients will want to listen to you about your business. See, a load of people who I gave coaching to were like, well, can I join you in something? Can I buy something else from you? Is there something else you do? When they buy once, they want to buy again. Five, three to five times more likely to get a repeat sale than a new sale. So let's say you taught someone to post better on their social media. They're now getting 20 likes instead of zero. Happy days. You can go along to that person. You can say, you know what? You know you're generating this interest on your social media. And right now you're only really pointing them towards, you know, whatever. How about we add an extra income stream to your business? You could post about the same stuff but actually divert some of these people to a profitable business it's called a network marketing business. You could have that conversation, couldn't you? There's already existing trust. You've already generated a result for them. Way more likely they'll say, well, yeah, this worked before. If you say this will work, I'm all ears. So anything you teach them, how to lose weight if you're able to do that, how to be more confident, how to post on social media, how to build a website, how to play the guitar, all of these things are building trust rapport and the ability for you to show them something else and then say I trust you I'll do it which is how we sign people up in network marketing right so it allows you to not only sharpen your skill set in other areas it allows you to make upfront money but it also allows you to guide more people into your network marketing team who are actually going to take action um, what else can we do by being a coach well there's a number of ways if I get specific that you can do this okay the first thing I would do is I would say work backwards what transformation are we looking to help people with? If we want the end result is them to play a certain song on a guitar, well, what chords do they need to learn? What movement between the chords do they need, right? There's gonna be ways that you can break this down because you've never taught it before, only for yourself. Instead of a consumer, now you're a producer, you're like, okay, what has to happen for me to get to this result for my client? Now let me work it backwards. That's how the best coaches operate. If you want someone to say, let's say you were a qualified personal trainer and you said, I want someone to lose X amount of weight. Well, we need to create a calorie deficit. So we need to work out their, their resting metabolic rate. We need to work out how many calories they're consuming, how many they're, what they're using up in a day. We need to look at the exercise program that's appropriate for their health and their diet, what the foods they like. So we can work this backwards into modules so now when we make our offer, we can be very specific and clear. 
Okay, so step one, we're going to assess your lifestyle. Step two, we'll work out exactly the balance we can create to burn fat off your body. Step three, I'll give you a diet plan that includes the foods that you actually enjoy. So now they're going, okay, 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 it's tangible. They're like, I can see this process, I can see that bridge, I know how this is going to work. You get more sales that way. Next thing you want to do is you want to what's called eat their complexity. I learned this from Sam Ovens. Eat their complexity. Too many people get lazy when they become coaching or they create products. They're like, ah, oh, do I really want to show them how to use Aweber or should I just say, hook it up to your autoresponder? So that's okay, you can get away with that. If it's a low price product, I mean, why should you take all day to do that? But if you are charging someone one-on-one -on -one prices, coaching, typically you get a thousand or more per pop when you're coaching someone these days. I mean, you want to eat that complexity. Create a video where the technical aspects of what they need to do you either do them for them or you create a video which guides them through it so they can do it for themselves without getting lost. So their complexity, instead of letting them get lost in the weeds and say your service is terrible, let them sing your praises by saying, you know, and they even showed me how to hook everything up, which was a real bonus. They gave me this technical instruction. Man, that saved me a lot of headache and calls to support. So eat their complexity, okay? Something else I would say, there's two more important points. The last one's really important. Start for free. If you right now you don't have any results coaching anybody in what you're about to coach them in, earn the right to charge. People will give you different advice on this. You can make money straight away, but that's this is comes on to the next point. If you want to make money straight away without having results for the people, here's what you're going to be, okay? You're going to have a higher level of marketing ability than you are in terms of the actual quality that you deliver. See, we don't want quality and results to be low and marketing to be high. We want both of them to be level. We want the quality and the results that you deliver to be their expectation based off of your marketing. So if I say, you know, one dot over here is results and quality, value, and this one is your marketing, they should be on a level. There should be these two things on, on a horizontal, right? Most people, when they don't start for free and they've never generated results for somebody, what they can actually promise and like, deliver on is way below what they promise. Don't do that. It's not ethical, okay? So when I first started training people, I trained them in the gym for no additional cost. I've got my personal trainer qualification. There's some people in there, hey, you look like you need some extra help. I would love a program. I'd love a diet plan. Would it be okay if I did that with you? I'm not going to charge you for it. If you Would you create a testimonial if you get results and you're happy? I'm not going to tell you what to say, but if you're happy with the service, would you create a little test? Yeah, I'll do that for you, Richard. No problem. It's free. It's free. I got a bunch of people. So I got five, I think it was five to ten people who I got results for. A couple of them didn't get results. Some people are lazy. They won't do what you tell them. But eight out of ten, I've got some success with. Richard's a great personal trainer. The diet plan was nutritious and enjoyable. Uh, I feel a lot better. I've dropped two trouser sizes. So now what do you have when you want to go charge for it? You don't have to be some amazing salesperson, an amazing closer, because the documentation beats the conversation. They go, what do you do for me? Well, look at these eight people that I trained last month. Result, 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 result. Richard's fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Great diet, great results. Really happy, highly recommend. Game over. If they are all are interested in looking at getting your service, game over. Same thing you could do with your Facebook, right? I'm going to manage five people's social media accounts. You guys see that I get a whole bunch of engagement. I'll do that for five people. The first five people to comment on here or who message me, I'll do that for them, okay? And then you can look through all the replies and you can pick the ones. You wouldn't say first five then because that would be lying. I'm going to do it for five people. Message me if you're interested. Assess them. Who's the type of person you want to work with? Who you're likely to get best results for because they seem like an action taker. Cherry pick those five, get the results for free, get the testimonials, and then you can promote, you know, on a much more ethical way. I always start everything for less than what I charge, like after the launch period. Even though I have a huge track record of results now with network marketers, you know, I still, when I release a product, I release it lower than it's going to be at the full launch. 
it's just a habit that I've got into. Let me make sure this is as good as I know it is, but I just want to be sure. So I release it at a lower price. People get tons of value. Yes, now I know for sure the higher price kicks in, right? Still a great deal. You can do the same. So make sure that you're delivering results on a level of your marketing ability, what you're promising. You'll do that if you start for free. Because another thing that allows you to do is to iron out any mistakes. Oh, they really didn't like it when I said this. They really, they, you know, ask them. Give them a, give them a, a, a post-coaching questionnaire. What's the best parts? What's the worst parts? What did you? What could we remove? What should we include? Now, when you actually release this paid offer and you're going to make money from it, think of the position you're in. You know it works. Got a bunch of people's testimonials. You've ironed out the mistakes. You're confident in the process. You've been through it a bunch of times already. Now you're able to make upfront money that feeds these quality people and relationships into your network marketing business. And at the same time, you're generating more eyes and interest on you, which is better for your business. And you're making upfront money while it takes time to build your team in network marketing. So many people won't tell you this because they want you to solely focus on your MLM. MLM is way harder to build than coaching. Do you know it's actually easier to sell someone a $2,000 coaching package than it is a $500 network marketing opportunity? You say that's impossible, Richard. Network marketing is four times cheaper. How, how does that even work? Because of this, I'm glad that you ask. So with network marketing, you are asking them to do something new. With coaching, you are assisting their existing problem or existing journey that they're on. So if I went to someone who is trying to get in shape, okay, they are a 40 year old dad and they have you know, been spending more time with their kids and less time in the gym, they want a way that they can combine working out with something with their children. They're now getting a little bit older, children six, seven, eight years old. They could do some exercise in the park with them or at home with them, whatever. So they want this to be their thing, something they could connect with their child with, but also get in better shape because they're kind of feeling the, the, the bulls, right? Now, if you go with your MLM, you're basically, this person, this person here has been thinking about this for some time. They've probably tried a couple of diets. They've probably, maybe worked out a little bit, whatever, right? Now, if you go to them with your MLM vitamin, you're, you're basically trying to wedge their result into your product. Lots of people aren't really open to supplements. Lots of people don't really wanna join anything that has a business attached to it. It's like, is it a business or is it a product? I don't know. Lots of people will research what you show them and go, oh, it's one of those things. Lots of people will say, hang on a minute, I don't want the vitamin, I, I want to do better with what I'm already doing. So even though it's only $500, it's something they may say, I don't want all this extra stuff. I don't even want that particular product because I can look on Amazon and I can find a similar product for less, right? Also, we're asking for long-term. Most times when people buy products in MLM, even if it's just the product, there's an auto ship. There's a minimum amount they buy every single month. It's a whole package, right? Again, a big commitment and asking them to do something new. Now, if this person's already trying diets unsuccessfully or they're working out unsuccessfully, and I come along as a coach and I say, listen, I can sort your diet plan out to include foods that you love that are quick to cook. I'll give you the diet recipes. I'll even do a Zoom call and I'll show you me cooking a couple of them or I'll do a video and I'll record me cooking them, right? Also, workout plan. Again, you can either be there physically face-to-face -face or online. I'll do the exercises with you. We can book a session or I'll video chat, you know, whatever, right? I'll tailor this exact program and process down to your exact body type, your nutrition, your habits, your schedule, blah, 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 which is a more attractive offer to them. Something that is custom fit to their exact requirements and it's doing better with something they're already committed to. Who wants to start a diet and fail? Or someone who's trying to move them away from what they're doing and saying, well, the supplements would be better, even though they don't really believe that. Oh, and I know there's a business attached to it, but you don't have to do it. And we do kind of ask you for a monthly auto ship. This is why you could easily charge 2K and close four to five out of 10 of your conversations with this one. And this is why even this is only $500, but you're probably gonna be lucky to get one or two out of 10. So let's add that up. These are numbers that I've seen over and over again using this. Let's go with the, let's go with the high on network marketing and the low on the uh, coaching. 
So we said 2 out of 10 for your MLM. And I said 4 or 5, so let's go lower. Let's say 4, just to make it super fair, out of 10 for your coaching. Okay, these aren't guaranteed, but these are pretty standard if you're doing a decent job in either of these. Now, how much are you going to make per sale in MLM? On a good day, maybe $50 a sale. Even, let's say, let's go double, let's say $100 a sale, which no, I don't know any network marketing company that pays $100 up front to sale, as well as decent residual. So what have we got? We've got $200 per 10 conversations. For the same type of conversation, what have we got? It was two grand a package, we've got eight grand. 8,000. What do you want to make in the next seven to 30 days? For the same amount of effort, and the same amount of conversations and the same amount of marketing. $200 or $8,000? What would be more beneficial to you? And off the back of this $8,000, we got four people. One might buy your supplements. <laughs> maybe two, maybe three, maybe all four, who knows? Because now they're in the game and you say, you know, I do have a supplement that could accelerate these results. They're going to listen to you because you're already working with them. So you could probably sell them on an auto ship anyway. So what happens is we got eight grand up front and we got one to four team members anyway. This way we lost eight people. This way we lost six. We made much more money and we've got probably more team members anyway. So we're building our network marketing business quicker with a much more higher quality of person because these are action takers who have a relationship with you. They're buying the supplement on a monthly basis because it's you and people don't quit people. The first way we got low money coming in and we're losing our, oh, it's leaky, what a leaky bucket. So when people are in network marketing, so, oh, no, 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 concentrate, coaching will kill your MLM. Look around at the success stories in network marketing. What do they all do? I sponsored nearly 800 people as a coach. So people say, oh, it will slow your numbers down. These people that say it slow the numbers down, I'm like, did you sponsor 800 people? Well, no, but I went to Starbucks and I have a gift card. Congratulations, go pay your mortgage with your gift card. Congratulations, you want to be on stage and be the big guy and be like, everybody clap? That's great. If you want to do that, there's nothing wrong with that. What I'm talking about is I'd rather you put money in your pocket and in your family. I'd rather you go live the life that you want to live. When's the last time you saw me needing to do all that kind of schmoozing to build this business? When's the last time you saw me having to give up my time to go do a bunch of stuff I don't want to do? When's the last time you saw me having to go travel around a whole bunch of places and do meetings or do gigs or whatever it is just to keep my brand going? When's the last time you saw me had to do that? I've never had to resort to that. If I ever do that type of thing, it will be by choice because I like the person, I like what they represent and I'll have a holiday at the same time. But I see so many people hanging on, you know, trying to do all the teach. They're teaching this while they're doing this. You need to focus on your MLM. Well, who's telling you that? The MLM coach that's selling you a product and coaching. You don't know. This will dilute what you do. Don't do it. Well, the reason you're telling me that and I found you on social media is because you're building a coaching brand. Do you get what I'm saying? I, I teach you what I'm doing, what I know works, and what I'm teaching other people to do is working too. A lot of other people out there will tell you what is easier for them to teach you or easier for you to hear so they can continue to sell you a product with the next script. When they know damn fine that even with the best script in the world, you may get two out, you might get you may move yourself up to four out of ten instead of two out of ten, and that's just gonna be four hundred dollars and you're still not gonna make it through. But you buy a bunch of their stuff in the process. So, hey, it's all good for them, right? You know, I just, I don't want to see you make this mistake. If you would all have something you're passionate about, if you would all have something that you want to sell, this, I mean, this is something I do, I do one-on-one -on -one right now. So if you're in a position where, and it isn't cheap, I'll tell you that straight away, I have a bunch of products at different prices so I can help you whatever level you're at. But if this is something you want to bring into your business model, um, I'm the guy to come to to this. This is how I built my business, specifically in network marketing. This is how I've taught many of the network marketers to do the same. Um, my track record and results speak for themselves. So if you were saying to yourself, Richard, 
I want to do this. I want to. I want to have a coaching element, but I just don't know. Do I even know anything that I can do? Like do this with? How does it? How do I package it? How do I deliver it? I've not got confidence or experience in this. Then uh, find me on social media somewhere and reach out to me, and I can. Um, I'll jump on a call with you. I don't do salesy calls, so I'll jump on a call with you, and we'll dig into your ideas. We'll look at your business, um, and we'll put together how that could work for you. Now, you may want to take that plan and go and try and do it yourself. You may want to have someone else coach you on it, or you may want to work with me if it's a fit for both of us. I promise you, I will only make you an offer for me to coach you if I absolutely think it'll be a fit and the best deal for both of us. Okay, that's the way I work. I'm thankfully in a position where financially I don't need to, you know, say one thing and do another. If I can help you, I will help you, and it'll be entirely up to you if you want to take me up on that offer. At the very least on that call, um, you'll have a great plan about how you could put this into your business, okay? The way you can do that is, well, reach out to me on social media. Reach out to me on social media first, message me. Um, I'll take a quick look at what you're doing currently, your profile, and if it's a fit, I'm, I'm happy to give you some time for free, okay? Uh, as always, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. Um, if this is uh, something that's benefited you, helped you, let me know. And if you're a subscriber, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day and bye for now.